Hello everyone. Today I want to talk to you about one of the most common issues that is being brought to us to the customer support. So, as you can see, I have an item here from Amazon.com that has three left in stock, that has some new in stock uh, if you're using Prime, and that seems to be okay, seems to be a normal product that's supposed to be sold. But if I'll go to the price monitor page and I'll show you the item over here, as you can see, it doesn't have any stock. It says out of stock. How come an item is in stock in the source website and it can happen with Amazon, it can happen with Walmart, it can happen with any source that we work with. The idea is very basic. When we talk, when we request the price from Amazon, we don't get the price from this page that you're seeing here. The price that we're getting is not, the, is not being read from this page. It's being read from Amazon servers. Now, the Amazon servers that are being used to show you the item in Amazon website and the Amazon servers that are used in order to talk to our website are not the same servers. And sometimes, we don't know why, nobody actually knows why, Amazon simply do not reply to our request. I mean, they do reply, but the reply is completely blank. They just don't send us the data. And... I want to prove that to you. The easiest way, and that's what we usually tell people to do, the easiest way to prove it is to go to another website that is reading prices from Amazon, from uh, from the server side, not like you read it in the in the uh, in the selling page in Amazon.com, rather from the servers. Such a website is. Camel, 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 which is a website that uh, what it does, it, it scans Amazon over time and it tracks the, the changes in, in the price. And check what they say. They say, the buy box offer appears to belong to a third party. We're not displaying two prices types, no recent price history. They don't have any price, only from third party. Third party means that it's in Amazon, but it's not, it is not the price that, that you, sorry, that you used to see in the buy box, meaning they don't have data from Amazon themselves, only from Amazon third parties. Also here, look, it says price type, Amazon, no data. There is simply no data about this item. Now, let's make a logic assumption. If there is no data about the item, what should we in DSM do? Should we keep it in stock while we cannot know if the price has changed or should we take it out of stock? Well, the answer is obvious. We take it out of stock and protect you. And for that reason, sometimes you may see items that are in stock in the source website, but out of stock in DSM. I really hope that it's more clear now. Thank you for listening and good luck with sales.